Crystal Heart and welcome to the Crystal Heart Show. We are at the Armory, the New Balance indoor track and field up in Washington Heights. With me is Sandy Triolo. Did I get that right? Yes. I did, okay. And this is the Masters. Now tell us, fill our audience in on, on what is happening here today. So this is the Indoor Masters National Championship. So we have athletes coming from all over the U.S. and international athletes to run indoor track and field. So that's running events, throwing events, um, jumping, you name it, we do it. And uh, it's everyone. We actually have athletes from 25 to 100 and sometimes plus. I think the oldest competitor here today is, is 92, perhaps, maybe older. But... Um, we're excited to be back because we haven't been together in an indoor championship since 2019. And this is amazing. We have amazing athletes, as you said, of all ages, just still out there getting up, moving. It's so important. It's amazing. And I'm, even as an athlete, I'm 60 years old, I'm amazed by some of the people here and how old they are and the things they can do. And I hope to just be able to do what they're doing uh, when I'm that age. We'll see. At 78 years old, Bob Koontz just ran the 200 meter. Tell me your time. I don't know because they flash up so quickly you can't see them. <laughs> I'll, I'll check the computer after the meet and you'll see what it is. Well, I'll tell you, I can't, I can't even run that. Tell me how you feel and how did you do it? Well, that's one thing I always try to mention is that uh, I have uh, what you call peripheral neuropathy where you have numb legs, numb feet. Oh, and man. that's what I try to encourage everybody with that disease, which is 20 million people have it to continue to try to improve and try to test yourself and stop, uh, you know, a lot of them are on morphine and drugs and, and they can't walk, they're in wheelchairs, and they can get out and start working and walking and walking and then start running and running and running. So I try to encourage all of them to do that. For, as far as my, myself is concerned, I was a national champion multiple times, pin relays multiple times. I'm not a champion anymore but I still have the desire and energy to go ahead and try to compete. And that's the most important thing. A lot of these races I know I'm not going to win, but I know I'm going to compete the best I can. That's a lot to be said, desire, desire. And, and you know, but that's so painful what you go with, with the neuropathy. Oh, it is, but you get used to it. Something about the human body can get used to anything. I think of uh, people prisoner of a war and prisoners of anything and they stay in there for years and years and they survive and if they can survive that i can survive this <laughs> well you have the right attitude a lot of its attitude being in a place like this with such positive energy i i, I believe in positive thoughts po being around positive people and these are all positive people because we got 100 year old guys that are running and 95 year old and they have that attitude that they're running against themselves. They're not running against the competition like I am. I'm running against myself. The competition thing where I used to get nervous and, and, and couldn't sleep because I was, I was the number one guy in the, in the world. And I don't have that anymore because <laughs> my anxiety level has said, gone down. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you. oh and, thank and, and you. this has got to motivate everybody out there. Okay, I sure I hope so. I... Especially my neuropathy buddies. <laughs> <laughs> With us is Alisa Harvey. Just ran the 800 meter. Alisa, first tell me your age. I'm 56. 56. Okay, and this is the Masters. Tell me what your time was. I ran, I ran two minutes and 30 seconds. Wonderful. And, and, and tell me a little bit uh, about yourself and how you got involved in running. Gosh, I've been running since high school. Um, I started running back in 1982 in high school. Um, I wanted to be a sprinter, but I became a distance runner. Uh, I went through high school track. I got to college, ran um, the mile, got a full scholarship to the University of Tennessee. I was a lady volunteer. Oh, well, I know the volunteers. I've been there. I love the volunteers. Me too. Um, and from there, I became an elite runner, and I ran um, until the early or late 1990s as an elite runner. And then I became a master around eight, 2003. I started doing master's running. 
And, and, and just about the volunteers real quick. Now, why is it named, I heard it's the volunteers because when most people uh, volunteered for the Civil for the civil War. That's correct. I learned that while I was there. It, um, the volunteers down in the Alamo, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I, my brother went to school there for one year, and that's why I went there. I went to Ohio State, so go Bucks. But uh, and and then tell me now, tell me about your routine to, to stay in this type of shape. Do, do you uh, how often do you run? Where do you run at? And well, I run five days a week. I usually start in my garage with little uh, pull-ups and leg curls and things like that. Then I go out to my neighborhood and I run through maybe two mile, three mile runs. Every now and then I'll go down to the college, George Mason University, and do track workouts. And then some days, two days a week, I'll go to the local gym and do weight training. And then I race on weekends. And you race on weekends. And, and what can you say? I, we're trying to motivate everybody out there in, in the audience to get up and, and, and get off the couch and, and to try to, you know, you might not be able to run something like this, but to walk, to... Yeah, I think it's to start yourself slow. Um, everybody wants to do it too fast. I work at a running store and I help people get their shoes, get a good pair of running shoes and nice comfortable clothing and start walking first and challenge yourself. Maybe do a 5k walk one weekend and work up to it and then you start enjoying it and next thing you know you're doing it every day. We have two world records here so tell, tell our audience what happened. Today we broke the women's 55 world 4x4 meter relay record. Woo! And the American record. Oh, and the American yes, record. Yes, yes, yes. We're very happy to be here, grateful that we're all healthy, and we have, this is the dream team. What can I say? The dream team. It was an honor and privilege to run with all these ladies. Great day today. Really happy to be here and setting a new world record in the 4x400 meters. Uh, so our team is Lisa Harvey, Sue McDonald's, Andrea Collier, and myself, Roxanne Brockner. And today is the day. We're thrilled. Woo! So this is, we got a happy dance here, right? Woo! Uh, women's sports. Good job. I'm Rick Huey. And, and, and tell me, Rick, uh, about your performance out there. It, it was fun, but it was also humbling. It was amazing to be in this facility and compete on a track that the world's greatest track stars have run on. Thank you. I'm Sally Talib. And Sally, tell me about yourself. Well, I had a lot of fun. We ran for three days. It was great. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We, we also ran some other races, 3,000 mile and, and uh, the relays, like you said, 4x8, four 4x2, by four by and 4x4. Four four. And they're all, always fun. Always fun? Gary Patton. Gary? And uh, Salih's my hero. He taught me how to run. <laughs> he taught you how to run? He taught me how to run. That's right. He gave me inspiration to run. Oh. But he was beating me at that time, too. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys go back a ways. Well, he has a lot of world records. So does he. Oh, yeah, okay. world records. How world many record. world records? Well, I got one world record, several Americans. What about the relays? They're all world records. And, and a couple of 4x8 uh, relay records, world oh, records, too. A humble group. What about your world record? Oh, I have, uh, all together, I've had 13 world records and 18 national records. But, uh, you know, you're only as good as you are right now. So I'm humbled and I'm very happy that, that uh, I did as well as I did at this meet. And we're hoping we can get the championship. We're, right, we're neck and neck with another team right now. Yeah, it's very we're, close. It's very close. It's very, very, so very, very close. Yeah. How many did we win so far? 20, 20 out of 23 national championships? Somewhere around Something there. like that. Something like We've that, won yeah. about 20 out of 23 yeah. national championships. You can look it up. It's close. So now we're trying so to we run more. pretty good. And we're, we're, a lot of us are California and out, out west, so we got a small group here today oh, compared to regular. Wow. Well, let's so do a little happy to, dance then. <laughs> after, 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 we get, after we get the results, we'll get the happy dance oh, okay. then. Okay, well, it's the beginning of the happy dance. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. We have a new face here in track and field, Easter Grant, all the way from what, Alabama? Yes, Alabama. And, Hunter, Alabama. <laughs> and, and tell me, now, what, what uh, events do you okay. run in? I mainly do the short sprints, mainly the um, 60 meter and the 200 meter and all the like if it was outdoor I'd do 100 and 200 meters so basically all the short sprints and 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 tell me um 
What's uh, your age? I am in the women's 35 group, but I am 38. But I'll be 39 at the end of the month, so yeah. Well, you're a youngster and you're a new face here. Now, now tell me a little bit uh, about your exercise workout and, and, and how you train. Uh, mainly, it's a mixture of cross training. Like, I'll probably go take a kickboxing class or I'll probably, um, you know, just do something outside the track. But, mo but mainly, I do, like, track probably two to three times a week. And I'll go to the gym and do a um, strength training work out there. When you were in school, did you do track and field there? I or? did. I did. I was I was kind of a standout in my college, but uh, yeah, I did. Um, I started track at and at a young age, we're in middle school, and it carried on into college where I got a um, track scholarship to go to the University of Alabama in Huntsville, which is in Huntsville, Alabama. So I've been, you know, running track since then. And, and, and what do you see in, in track and field as far as where it's going and, and uh, uh, it, it building building more popularity for it or um I feel like I feel like with more people being aware of it that we're going to we continue to grow and um, basically with, when you have meets like this that are open to everybody who wants to get out here, and give it what they got or people who want to return to track and field then it makes it's it's helpful for the sport because it you know it makes the sport more visible and i guess just to end this you know we're trying to to motivate people to exercise a little bit more so you have some advice for people out there um absolutely i would say um don't I, start where you're at find your reasons first why you want to work out and um, just realize that health matters. Your health is well. So yeah, yeah. Health matters, and there's no better way to get healthy than to even walk. Exactly. It doesn't even have to be coming out here. You just start walking. You know, do what you have to do. So yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. And, and what's next for you? I will be doing the 200 today. The 200 meter around two ish. So yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll see you afterwards, and you can tell us uh, how you did. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank Easter. you. Easter, Easter's coming. <laughs> Easter Grin is back, and you just w ran that 200 meter in what? 25.98. <laughs> and, 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 and tell me, how, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. A win, a win always feels One great. More. <laughs> what do you think of this track? Oh man, it's kind of tricky, but I was trying to maneuver a little bit. But yeah, it's good. It's good. Woo. Congratulations there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. What's next for you? Um, I think that's the end of my championship right there. So I'm start training from outdoor and see where I go from there. We have with us an 800 meter runner, Austin Brown. Tell me what your, did you set the record today and, and oh, what time it is? I missed it by 300 of a second. Oh. That's, that's, that's really, I, I failed. I should have had it. You should have had no, it? No, 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 definitely not should have had it. Uh, well, well, what, 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 what went the, wrong? The record, I, I don't, I, I guess I didn't have anybody pushing me. You didn't have no one pushing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and uh, I wasn't even aware of how, Close I was, you know, to the. What was the time that you did it in? 2:32. 2:32. Wow. Well, that's amazing. And what's your age? 73. Can you imagine 73 years old running that in that time? Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah, it's possible. Um, you know, man says it's not possible, but the Lord said it's possible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible for the Lord. Nothing's impossible. No, no. And, and tell us what your secret is. Well, hard training. I train very hard. I, I, I didn't come here just to, you know, walk over. I expect to have competition. So you, with that, you have to train hard. So that's, how, that's pretty much how you live your life. Very hard, yeah. Hard work. Hard work? A lot of hard work, yeah. A lot of hard physical work. I don't sit around in a office and, you know, right? You know, hard. 
hands and feet, you know, a lot of work, hard work. And, and you have a lot of records uh, outside of this. Yes, so I do. F fill everyone I, in. Fill I, um, I have the indoor record for the 400 meters, 55 to 59, um, which is um, 53, 53 seconds. And um, I set a lot of records that were actually broken, but, you know, I tried my, I tried my best. And, and, and what did you do before you did track and field? Well, I was a soccer player. A so oh, a soccer player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you're used to running. Yeah, I'm used to running. Yeah, you're yeah. Used to running. Yeah. What, 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 did you pay, play for a local team here or something? Yes, I did. But I was a very good um, soccer player. So you were a very good soccer player? Very, very good. Up to this date, I'm still a very good soccer player. Uh, what team did you play for and what position? I play up uh, left back. Left back? Left and, and, back. And, yeah. and, and, and what team? Upsetters. Upsetters. Upsetters? Yeah. In the Bronx. In the Bronx. All right. I also won the, um, on Friday, the 400 meters. Oh, you also won the 400 meters. I won the 400 meters Friday. 103. 103. This is remarkable. These are incredible stories of inspiration for everyone to just start moving. I wanted to win 3,000 meters. I wanted to win the mile, which I could have done. But they, they taught me out of running. But I wanted to do about six events. Uh -huh. About six events I wanted to do. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm going to be running the finals in 200 meters. Unbelievable. A lot of it is a lot of it mental also? Or is well, it all yeah. physical? <coughs> well, um, mentally, yeah. Mentally too, yeah. If your head is not straight, if you think crooked, you cannot live straight. If your mind is crooked, there's no way you can do certain things. It's impossible. So it was, mind has something to do with it. Good luck there. You have a want to say something to the audience outside there? To uh, all I have to say to you, you know, uh, running is a, a very good sport. And I, 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 I say to you, if you can, if you're physically um, able-bodied, do it. Try. You, you know, you will never know what can happen. You never know what will happen. What will be the outcome? And never stop believing, right? Never stop believing. Never stop believing. That's that's a secret to success. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. With us is a world-class athlete, Joy Upshaw. Joy, tell us uh, what events you were in today. Well, I first came here, I've been injured, so I came here hoping to do the 60 and the 200, but was able to do some hurdles and a long jump, a half a pro's long jump. The hurdles, <laughs> that, is, that is really, uh, uh, I would think, difficult. Yes, it's difficult, but a lot of fun, especially if you've done it for a while. It's, it's great because they when you get older, they lower them a little bit too, and so we're able to run and work in, and it's a fun challenge. And, and what type of injury did you have that prevented you from running some of the events you want my favorite ones yes well a lot of the favorites well a hamstring um, hip type of thing and it's so crazy because a lot of my friends came back here and said they had similar ones and we're sort of halfway doing our races and halfway you know uh, half approaches and things like that and, and that's okay I mean we're here to support each other and we know it's a phase and we're working through things and that's what we do um, for masters and and also racing at this level too so just taking care of ourselves. We're in New York City at the Armory here, New Balance Track and Field, beautiful track. Now you're also from a, a family of uh, athletes, yes. or to fill us in on that. Sure, my, my dad in 1954 broke the national long jump record at 25, four and a quarter as a young high school kid. So we grew up in very much a track and field home and loved it. And uh, my youngest sister, Grace, was on two Olympic teams in the long jump. So it's been fun to do long jump all over the country. I had the world record in it for my age group for a while. And, and just being able to be in our sport is fantastic. Yeah, thanks. And, and what prep do you do for the long jump? A lot of bounding and skipping and a lot of quickness things like that yeah 
But what I'm really excited about is being here at the Armory, because I'm from California. I've never been here before. Oh, you're all the way from California? Yes. Oh my gosh, welcome to New York. How do, yeah, you, how do you like New I York? I love it. It's been so fun. We're able to see a Broadway show, go to some great restaurants, and still, you know, able to train and race, and, and just the energy is just so awesome. I've loved it, and I want to come back here and go to the Milrose Games and go to some other meets here at the Armory, and the support of track and field in this state and in this city is fabulous, and I just... I just love it. Are I'm coming gonna, back for sure. You have to come to the Milrose Games. I will. It is indoor track and field's most prestigious, wow. biggest event. This place is just completely packed and, and uh, you know. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm already and, figuring out how to get here. And they say that this is a fast track, whatever that means. Yes, that means you'll get it some good times. Some so, always even if, good yes. Times here. yes, and if we're a little bit injured, we have something to look forward to. So I'm excited to come back healthy and race. All the way from Cali. Hi, Cali. <laughs> but welcome to New York City. We yeah. love you here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All the way from Atlanta, That's Catherine true. Radel. Good luck there. First of all, how old are you and what event did you uh, uh, participate in? Um, 78. I did pole vault yesterday and weight and shot put today, and then I'm doing the 200 and the 400. Oh dear, and how did you, so, so far how have you uh, come out? Well, never as well as you'd like to. I did first place in, in uh, pole vault. Oh wow, first place, wow. Second in weight and third in uh, uh, shot put. Pole vaulting, aren't you sort of frightened to go up I on, on that? It. My husband gave me pole vault lessons when I turned 71. Really? I never had a pole, yeah, first time. Is your husband a big part of this, a big part oh, of yeah. your training? He just left. Oh, he just left? Yeah. Did he also compete? He did, in the throws, and uh, he'll do maybe a relay, yeah, yeah. And how long do you plan on doing this? As long as I can move, forever. Forever? Forever. Absolutely. And, and what got you involved? Well, I met my husband, actually, and um, he, he was a runner, and I just started running. And then we saw a pole vault, and I loved it. He said, well, why don't I buy you a birthday present? Oh, it was a birthday present? Yeah, when I turned 71. <laughs> when you turned 71. Yeah. But, yeah, I never did track and field at all before. Uh, when did you meet your husband? Or well, it'll be 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yep. 10 years ago. Yep, we have an anniversary coming up. Oh, almost happy anniversary Thank there. Thank you, yeah. Oh, so that's wonderful. You didn't meet at a track and field event, did no, you? we or met online. Oh, you, oh, you met online. <laughs> I know. You see, online dating can happen. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you yeah. took it all up, and, and, and now look at your hair. At, at, at this beautiful, this the armory. This is wonderful week. This yeah. is the New Balance indoor track and field. It, it, it is a we state of the art. We love it here. We come up usually for a month at a time and we practice here. Wow, well, so wonderful. We love it. We love and, it. And, and good luck there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Well, what did you all compete in right now? We just finished the 800. Uh, Chuck Novak here won it, out kicked me at the end. Mark, you were third, Mark was third. The three of us and Sherman get in here actually teamed up on a relay together yesterday and we broke the 50 age group world record. So, 50, 50s baby. Yeah, baby. We were all oh, that is... yesterday and enemies for a couple minutes today. You guys came out here for Boulder, yes. you know, running at altitude. From Boulder? I was told there were special points for the triathlon, so I did the 3K, the mile, and the 800. Is that true? Is there a triathlon? <laughs> where, is this, uh, where is this? Is this on the runner space? Where is this? Yeah, we're going to put it up. Uh, on the runner space? Cool. Of them. Yes, well, congratulations, Thank everybody. You. Yeah. Touch, yeah, 50 and over. <laughs> With this India Bridget, and you just what the race you were in? The women's 60 year old 200 meters. And what was your time? 28.88. You know, 29.88. You know, that's not far from what high school students are doing. How, 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 what's your secret? 
Um, I just, I train, I condition, I follow directions what my coach does, and I have a passion to do what I'm doing. Did you do it in school? Or? Yes, I did it in the high, high school and I ran with the United States Marine Corps as well. Oh, you're a Marine? Yes, ma'am. Oh, once a Marine, always a Marine. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. What years were you uh, serving? 80 to 86. Thank yes, you. You're welcome. Well, you're in wonderful shape there. Any any uh, great great words of wisdom for our audience? Um, I know my coach is looking. We were going for the record, which is 29.84, and I ran 29.88 next season, coach. <laughs> With this Roman Marinin from all the way from Colorado? Colorado, yeah, and, Denver suburbs. And, 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 and tell me, you are the head of the uh, track and field there? Yeah, so I'm the uh, Masters Association Chair for USATF Colorado, and I'm also the Mid-America Regional Coordinator. And so did you bring a group of people here? With uh, you? Some, a, lot of, a good amount of Colorado people. You know, we, Some of us travel together, some coming from other times and places, but uh, it's always good to have people you know here, and it's always great to see the friends you've made along the way from all over the country. So. And, and uh, the event you were in? Uh, it's this week I've run the 400, 200, 60 meters, and 60 meter hurdles. Okay, and you just ran the 200? Just ran the 200, yeah. And, and, and how was your time? Uh, you know, you always want to run faster. That's uh, it's kind of just the, being an athlete, but it was okay. A little slower than my times earlier this season, but it's also my seventh race of the week. So, so you're a little tired. What do you think of this track? I love the track. This is a prize of sprinter, very bouncy. The facility's great. Everyone here has been amazing. Just the uh, the officials, the personnel, the volunteers. It's been a great experience. Okay, it's a positive uh, feeling. And, and, and say some, a shout out to the audience about getting up and getting out and exercising. Hey, just remember, it's never too late. You're never too old. As long as you have the passion to go out there and give it a shot, you're always welcome here. It's a great community. We'd love to have you out. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the Armory, New Balance Track and Field, Indoor Track and Field. And if you get anything from this show, it's the inspiration. The inspiration of, of people getting up and moving and, and, and never giving up. And also surrounding yourself with positive people, with positive thoughts. Because what you think will happen. And you can get up and you can move and you can exercise. So I'm Crystal Hart. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the show. And once again, get up and start moving.